coin toss this evening's honorary captain, our representative from the American Legion, Vietnam veteran, U.S. Navy, Mr. Dennis Spartan. Tonight's contest, Ken Damcott, Lou Russell, Tom Sure you guys got someone covering the Newcastle Alec Cooper game right now. Oh, 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 oh. 
exactly the same. He's gonna run it, guys. He's not throwing that. And maybe he is. Wow, he's gonna leave him wide open. Third and 11 for Bison. Jacob Zeitz from the victorious General McLean Lancers tonight over the Fort LaBeouf Bison, 28 to 6. Uh, Jacob, you guys pretty much take control of uh, the Region 6 uh, with this win tonight. What, what does it mean to do that? You know, it's a huge win. We've been harping on it all week at practice. This is this is the biggest game of the year right here. Last year they got the best of us, but this year I, I can confidently say that we 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 handled them very well. You but know, they are still a very good team. They're still a very good team. You know, their their quarterback, uh, you know, I'm probably sure you're aware, yeah. broke his leg, um, wasn't able to play in this game. Sometimes that can lead to a bit of a mental letdown on your your part, but that yeah. didn't seem to be the case at all tonight. Yeah, we, we practiced so many different formations at, uh, at practice this week. We didn't know what they were going to do this week, but, you know, we handled our business on defense, let them score once, but that's all they needed. But uh, I'm praying for that kid that broke his foot. I uh, hope he gets better soon. You know, speaking of defensive uh, def defense there, especially in the second half, there was a point where, by my count, if it's correct, they ran 28 offensive plays. I mean, you guys ran two, and you turned them away twice in a row. I, I was yelling it on defense the whole time. They're wasting their own time. 22 play drive, let them do it. They're just chewing their, their own clock. Um, you know, it, it is believed, and I don't want to—I don't want to misspeak, but it's believed that on your second-half touchdown, the 73-yarder, that your brother became the all-time leading passer in General McLean uh, history. Yeah, what does that mean? I feel that it makes it so happy that he didn't throw it deep and I did it for him. But you know, <laughs> hell, hell of a quarterback. He plays amazing all the time, and I'm just so happy that we're able to share the field together, and it makes me so happy. Did it mean a little more to be able for you to be able to catch that? Pass uh, of course it did. It meant so much to me. You know, having him hold the record, they'll always know that I was the one that caught the pass for him to break it. And in the game itself, you had another huge game. I had you at eight catches for 212 yards and four touchdowns. Well, that's that's another school record for me, I guess, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jacob, thanks a lot. All right, thank you.
Isaac Seitz uh, from the General McLean Lancers. You guys get a 28 to 6 victory tonight over uh, Fort LaBeouf. Um, this pretty much gives you guys uh, control of the Region 6 uh, in District 10. How does it feel? It, it's a great feeling. And not only, uh, like you said, not only do we have control over the uh, region, but just this win. I mean, it's not, it's nothing, it didn't matter that much to our. Uh, you know, our region play, but just the feeling that we can come in and be a good team like this, it's just amazing, and especially it's a rivalry, so, you know, gotta love that. Especially with it being a rivalry, I know you guys know that their quarterback had an unfortunate injury yeah. last week, and um, sometimes that can lead, like I, I told your brother, it can kind of lead to a letdown, maybe on your part, knowing, well, they don't have one of their better players, but it didn't seem like that affected you guys at all. You guys came out and really took care of it. Oh, yeah, we were... Uh, all week. I mean, we did hear about it earlier in the week that their quarterback would not be playing, but that did not stop us. They're a tough physical team. Twenty. It's, it said 28 to six, but it, it was not like that. They're a good. They're a very good football team, and they very well could have, uh, you know, put that game within reach. You know, I heard uh, tonight that you likely became the all-time leading passer in General McLean uh, football history. Uh, what does that mean to accomplish that? Uh, it just means so much. I mean, I remember uh, going to football games when I was like four years old and just just walking around and uh, you know taking in the atmosphere and then I, I've always been dreaming of, or I always dreamed of playing football I didn't know what I wanted to play I played a lot of positions but I just knew I wanted to get on the football field and play under the lights on Friday night and yeah I mean I could I could have never imagined that I could have done something like this but a uh, huge thanks to my coaches coach McCormick every every uh, player on our team and uh, the whole line as well you know, it was believed that you did it on the touchdown pass to your brother there in the third quarter, the 73-yarder. Does it mean a little more to, to do it on that Oh, play? yeah, that mean, that's great. I mean, I'll probably watch that video forever. Just, you know, to tell if I have kids, tell my kids and my grandkids about that. I just, I'm proud, and I'm proud of my brother, too. He did a great, a great job tonight. Yeah, we believe that he believes that he set a record as well with the uh, eight receptions for 212 yards and four touchdowns. And you had uh, 270 yards and the, those four touchdowns to him. Just again, um, you know, what, what did it mean to come out and be able to establish that that 21 to nothing lead early in the first half and kind of take control like that, especially with a team that's you know has a backup quarterback and isn't really going to throw the football a lot. Yeah, it's huge, especially they're a run-heavy team. I knew once uh, once we scored that last touchdown and went up 28 to zero. I knew that it, they they needed a drive to score and it was going to take them a while. So and I was right. They took them a while and uh, yeah, just run, they run the ball, take a lot of time off the clock. And I mean, I don't think we had the ball. Uh, we didn't have too many possessions, but we we uh, did a good job when we got the ball. I was going to say there was a period of time where I believe in the third quarter, in the second half there, I think they had run 28 offensive plays. You guys had run two. Now I know yeah. you don't play on defense, but yeah. your defense did get two stops in the red zone that kind of you know, like you said, prevented yeah. that. It could have been a one or two. Yeah. Does this? Um, do you think this win is is really helps you guys moving into the game against? Uh, I know you got Meadville coming up. I think in a couple of weeks, uh, that's going to like could likely be a preview of the District 10 title game. Do you feel like you guys are, are really hitting your stride now that you've beyond the halfway point? I feel like we've been uh, hitting our stride since the first play of the season. I mean, just the way we prepared over the summer. And especially with a team like Newcastle going out and playing a really good team in the Woodville. I mean, we were we got hit in the mouth on the first two drives on offense, but then we we started rolling. And I mean, you know what happened in that game. And uh, yeah, we've been ready since play one of the year. We've been ready since spring. I mean, we practice. We start practices. It's still snowing outside in March. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Congratulations on the win here. You guys pretty much take control of the region six title in this game. Uh, it's a big, big game for you guys. You come out on top. What are yeah. your opening thoughts? Um, you know, just how well our guys kind of responded. We challenged them big time this week. Um, and in all phases of the game, they were great. To get, only allow six points, um, I think that sometimes gets overshadowed by what Isaac and Jake are able to do and our offense is able to do. Um, but to allow six points, our special teams played great. Um, it's, it was a complete game for us. I was going to say, I guess I'll just uh, open with that. Is in the second half there, they went on, like I told uh, the Twins over there, I said, you know, they had, I believe, at a point, 28 offensive plays. You guys had run two. And there was a situation there a couple times where they drove into the red zone, especially down here at the nine-yard line. You guys turned them away twice. I mean, that those are big plays because that could have been a one- or two-score game. Absolutely, absolutely. Our guys responded. You know, we made some a little adjustments.
adjustments at halftime, nothing too crazy, um, but our guys responded. Anytime you can get a stand like that, and we knew you know, the clock was still moving, so we were kind of okay with that, how much time they were taking. Um, and then when you can score in one or two plays, it, it makes things a lot easier. But our, our defense really stepped up tonight. I was going to say as well, I know their quarterback kind of had that unfortunate injury there, uh, but you guys were able to come out and go up 21 to nothing on them. And like you say, you really kind of forced them to not play the game they want to play. They kind of want to run that triple option type mm -hmm. of deal a little bit there. How important was it to establish that lead? Yeah, we talked about, you know, the first drive, how important it was for us to get in the end zone, and we didn't. And, you know, how would our guys respond to that? We were able to get a big stop, and then we got rolling. We were able to score three straight times. Um, and to get them out of their element of being able to run the ball was definitely a big part of our game plan. And the Twins again today, I guess we have to talk about them almost every game. I, I believe, uh, like I said, I believe that Isaac, uh, he became the all-time leading yes. passer in school history. So yep. that is confirmed. That is confirmed. That is good, yeah. so I don't yeah. look like an idiot. No, no. But anyway. <laughs> 272 um, is what we had him at, but he needed, needed like 230. So Okay. So what, is, uh, what does it mean for him to be able to do that? You know, um, you know it's just an attestment to, you know, first of all, our O-line, our receivers, and, you know, how much work Isaac put in during the offseason and he knows he doesn't get it um, you know without all the guys around him and he'd be the first one to tell you that he's a, he's a great young man he's a great leader um, but I'm really proud of him because it all it all kind of came together for him this year and, and all the work he put in so he definitely deserves it Jacob today I believe he had I think like eight catches for around 212 yards and yep. all four touchdowns might I mean, be a school record <laughs> yeah, that, that's <laughs> yeah, 209 a few weeks ago so what is that what does it mean to have that just again this a connection that those two have yeah it's it's a great connection they have and you know, the best part about it is if teams do take him away, we have other guys who are willing to step up. And tonight just happened to be Jake's night. It seems like it is a lot. But, um, you know, with the coverage they were giving us, Isaac knows his reads and he knew where to go with the ball. Now that you're past the halfway point of your season, you guys are sitting at five and one. You know you're look, you're looking pretty good. Uh, what do you, what do you feel like uh, moving forward here? Yeah, we, we just talk about one game at a time. Um, our focus right now is you know enjoy this and, and then focus on Warren. We got some big games coming up, um, and then we're hopefully going to be getting ready for the playoffs. So, okay, thanks, Marshall. I appreciate yep, it. As absolutely. Always.